Good evening, my name is Raven Speaks and welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for coming back. If this is not your first time, thank you very much for coming back if this is your first time. I haven't uploaded in months and months and months and months. Um, I've never really been stable with YouTube. I've been on and off like a yo-yo. I've had ideas, then scrapped them and had a change of mindset. I've had more ideas and scrapped them and had a change of mindset. And I, I, everything that I've ever, ever done has always been mental health. It's been my most popular. Um, so I think I'm going to stay here for good now. And I'm going to upload content regularly. And it's going to be all about mental health and families dealing with mental health and you yourself dealing with mental health and so on. It's going to be strictly focusing on mental health and your immediate surroundings and your family around you, basically. Because I know a lot about that. Because <laughs> I've, um, I've not only have I been through it myself I've also worked my way up to management in the industry so let's just say I have a wealth of experience and knowledge anyway on with the show the first video I'd like to do today is tips to maintain mental health we're going to start off fairly simple and then we'll take it in different directions as the channel grows and as you guys show me through my analytics what you like and what you don't like but anyway especially in this environment lockdown environment you might want to know how to sort of maintain it as healthy as possible at the moment so i'm going to go through a few tips just to keep your mind above board because believe you me uh, there was a period in my life where I didn't go out, I was a hermit and it was for about two years as I was recovering. I had to maintain these core values to keep my sanity around me. So here we go. Number one, get outside. Now, now hear me out before you go, but it's lockdown Raymond, it's lockdown. You need to go outside because we are designed, we're not built, we're just not built to be inside all the time. We're not, we need, we need sunlight, we need fresh air. We need to experience the outside. I've existed in a time in my life when I was very, very, very depressed, where I was just inside all the time. And every time I went outside, maybe every once, every two weeks, I felt so much better. Go outside, whether that's just in the garden, and if you if you like live in a big built up area and don't live in a garden, then go for a walk or, or a run. It doesn't need to be much right so don't like go to the park where everybody else is going just go for a small walk or a, or a small run where no one else is and that will just get you out to stretch your legs and feel a bit better it really will create number two right then a lot of people don't place value on creation when i create I'm at my happiest. So whenever I'm writing or making a video or creating something, I could then look back on that and go, I did that, I look at that. I, I feel like I've achieved something. So I, I always say create. Even if you've never created before, create something. And it doesn't need to be a blog or a video like I do. It could be, you know, building a car out of matchsticks. It could be whatever you feel that is good for you, right? I say that because when I blog and when I video, I look back at that and I say, wow, I did that. And I have a sense of achievement, which is very important. That is very important for a good mind. Who knows? You might like what you're doing. And if you like what you're doing, then you may even make money from your, what you're doing, you know? You never know. Anyway, so creation, very important, right? And also keep away from the bad news. When this lockdown started, I was always in the news. I was looking at all the bad articles and go, oh my God, you know, we're, we're all going to die. We're all... Cause I'm a bit like that, right? I get negativity affects me in really bad ways. So I tend to leave that to my wife now. I tend to let her read the news and I'll just get snippets of it. But if you don't have a partner, that's fine. Just watch the news, but then maybe counterbalance it with lots of funny and happy things. 
Um, I've got lots of comedic creators on YouTube, which I watch, for example. In fact, I could cons consume two or three hours just watching YouTube. Keep away from bad news and also counter it, counterbalance it with good news. Uh, there's been lots of bad news stories about the youth shaft and the elderly when it's been through the food shopping, the the lockdown and the, the hoarding and things. But then there's been a lot of good. But the, I, I feel the bad has overshadowed shadowed the good because we're we're actually primed to look out look out for the negative so if you have something good happen here but something bad happens over there most of us will go over there and that's because we are we're primed to look out for that i mean before we, we're very safe now but before back in a natural habitat we had to be on guard for predators at every waking moment and that's why we're sort of wired to look out for the bad and that's why the news does bad news because it sells like hotcakes whereas good news does but only certain good news so watch the news yes but bear in mind there is good as well that's happening so just you know mediate it <laughs> don't always watch it okay also another really important one is limit screen time okay so um screen time I don't know if you, any of you know this, but um, there's, there was a study done way back, and you could search this on Google, actually. It's screens, monitors, iPad screens, and so on. They give out, I don't know if it was negative or positive charged ions, but what those do is those, those actually make you depressed and anxious. To counterbalance that, I wish I had it near to me, but I can't find it, uh, is a salt lamp. But, you know, you can't buy off at Amazon now. It takes weeks and weeks to get an order and so on. So limit screen time. Make sure you're, you know, counterbalancing your screen time with going a walk or a run or doing some creating away from the computer and screens, you know. Too much screen time, bad for you, honestly. As if I, I I work on the computer, most of my daily work is at the computer, and when I eventually come off the computer, I feel like I need to get outside. <laughs> so yeah, um, limit your screen time. That's really important. And also, how about learn something? Okay, go on Udemy.com. I'll actually leave a uh, um a few links in the description where you can just you know go and learn, pick up a a few training courses for free because I know <laughs> all the places you can go to get them free. Now I'm not being in the dodgy sites. Um, what these creators do is when they list their course, it's always beneficial uh, if they get a few hundred signups. So then the algorithms on these sites promote their. Um, the, it goes, oh, it's getting all these signups, and so it'll promote it. So. It's always good for these creators to give out free tickets to their courses. So I'll, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description, but definitely learn something new, you know. Whilst you're in lockdown, whilst you can't go out and work, whilst you're, you know, sitting there, learn something new. You'll really feel good for it. I always feel good when I learn something new. I'm proud of myself as well, because, you know, I'm getting a bit older now, and if you've ever heard you can't teach an old dog new tricks, that <laughs> feels certainly relevant for me. So whenever I learn something, I'm like, wow, yeah, I'm awesome. So yeah, take the time to sit down and possibly learn something if you have time. And also rest when needed. Okay, I know I'm saying do all this stuff, but also take time to rest as well. One thing I'm really bad at is I'll be like up to about one or two o'clock tonight. And I know I shouldn't because I should be having good proper rest. So don't listen to me, don't do what I do. I'm not saying that because I do it, it's fine. I'm saying good proper rest, okay? Don't get sucked into the whole going to bed at three, four, five o'clock in the morning like I see some people doing, because it's not healthy and it will make you depressed. In fact, I've, I've noticed a lot of people that do that are depressed and I'm not just saying this is me assuming it, it's because they've actually told me that they're depressed. So yeah, properly rest and keep that healthy balance. And last but not least is give. There is so, so much emphasis not placed on how much of a good feeling it is to give your money, give your time, 
give whatever to people who need it more than you do. I mean, I I'm not saying like be like Jesus and give everything that you have. I'm just saying give time or money or whatever. When you have extra of it, for me, I don't have a lot of money to give, so I usually give my time. But whenever I've got a free spare minute somewhere, I say, right, okay, who needs help? And that makes me feel good inside because I'm making a difference. Now, I'm not telling these people that they need help. I'm asking if they need help. And, you know, some there will always be someone that needs help. Uh, there is a there is a great mental release from philanthropy. It really makes you feel good about yourself. Give without expectation of return. It's really really nice feeling. Trust me. Um, so yeah, emphasis on the gift doesn't need to be money. There's a lot of people struggling at the moment. I understand that. So it could be time. I'm struggling myself. So absolutely, give time and you'll feel a lot better for it. That's a promise. So these are a few tips to stay above balance when going through this process because it's tough and everybody's unsure. We don't know what kind of world we're going to emerge from this. So I'm hoping you're all keeping above board with this. hope you're all head up water. Thanks very much for listening, guys. I wish I had... Uh, which way is it? Oh, <laughs> this way. I wish I had videos to suggest you to you over here, but this is my first video of quite a few. So um, thanks for listening and I shall see you later. Bye.